everybody and welcome back to my channel well today we're upstairs and we're going to be working on paper crafts haven't done them in a while and I mean I am haven't done them seriously in a while and if you go to my blog and you look you'll see that was 99.9.999 percent of all of the uh, crafts that I did for that blog originally I have years and years of paper crafts cards uh, photo albums, gift boxes, and all kinds of things. So I haven't done them for so long. I'm really enjoying kind of getting back into it a little bit because, you know, I can only make so many wreaths. I know all of you love to watch the wreaths, and I love to make them, but I don't sell them, so uh, it's very hard for me to find uses for all of them. I give most of them away. If somebody asks me for... Um, you know, a special wreath that, that they'd like me to make. I just ask that they pay for the supplies and I'll make the wreath for them. But anyway, today we're doing paper crafts and we're going to make some cards. Actually, we're going to make what could be used as a card set. And I will show you when I get down to the desk what I mean. But this is what the, the set, the outside of the set looks like. And this is what the inside of the set looks like. So we're going to get busy and try to make a couple of cards. We'll make two. And we'll get started on this uh, folder to finish it. We won't finish it completely because uh, it will just take too long to get all of the decorations on it. So I'll be right back and we'll be down to the desk. Hold in there. I wish I'd stop looking at me in the viewfinder and look at you in the camera. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, here we are down at the desk. Um, sorry for the lighting. I will try to brighten this up as much as I can, but it's a cloudy, overcast day, so I'm not getting any good light in here. I have an overhead light, but it's not the brightest. Okay, I have one 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Let me show you what our project is going to look like. We're going to make a couple of cards. And this one happens to say thank you. And they're just blank on the inside so that you can write your own message. Okay? Uh, I'm going to do one that says thank you and I'm going to do one that says hello. And you can make these to say anything you want hello uh, thank you with sympathy thinking of you congratulations and the same pro process for the front and then just write of course whatever message you want to have on the inside and the other part of this project is actually to make the little folder that they fit in and you can put four cards in here and four envelopes you see I've got the, the envelopes over here and then the cards will go over here. I'm not going to do all four today but I'll show you how to do two of them and then I will show you how to make this little folder. And it's so cute because when it's in the question these I decorated with some flowers and uh, then you just tie it closed with a pretty bow. And this is a, a nice little package to give to someone. You could actually give them four different cards. You could do a happy birthday, a thank you, uh, a hello, and a either congratulations or sympathy card. And it would make a nice little gift for someone. You have to have something to play with, you know, when you're stuck at home. So let me uh, show you the cards. The cards are what's called A2. And you can make two of them out of one piece of eight and a half by eleven. So I'm going to cut this in half now. I put my cutter here somewhere. There we go. If I cut this right at five and a half. Okay, 
I will have two pieces at five and a half. And those two pieces I will score in half the other way. And that will make them five and a half by four and a quarter. And that is considered an A2 size card. So this is eight and a half, so it's four and a quarter is halfway. Eight and a half, so four and a quarter is halfway. Just set that aside for a minute. And we will fold them, give them a nice burnishing with a bone folder. So there are your two card bases. The next pieces I have some pattern paper and I'm going to put it just on the folded edge. This is the folded edge, this is the open edge, okay? And I'm going to attach those right here. And what I used was one of these little 6x6 six six pads. They're very inexpensive and they really have some cute papers on there. And these happen to be double sided. So, if you didn't want to even stamp anything, look at this has um, sayings on it on the other side of this particular one. This says, spring, make you make me happy when skies are gray. And you can put any one of those on and you've got your card all made. Look at that. Spring flowers. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. You don't have to stamp if you don't have any stamps. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my ATG gun and I'm going to add these stripes. Okay, now, the next thing I'm going to do is stamp. And I have these two pieces. I have a green piece that will go first, and then a white piece that will sit on top. Okay? But I want to stamp first on the white piece because you always want to stamp before you put all your pieces together. Um in case the stamp doesn't come out. I'm going to be using stays on and very honestly I'm not sure how wet this is. We're going to find out. So we have the, these two greens and the two whites. I'm going to stamp first. I've already stamped one. I'm going to stamp the other. And what I'm going to use is VersaFine um, it, this is a very nice ink. It keeps a nice clear picture, but I will use um, regular markers and not alcohol or, or colored pencils probably because this will run my stays on is the one I would use normally if I were using my alcohol markers, but this has dried out. So this is what happens when you don't stamp for a while. So you want to stamp on your white sheets before you get everything put together, just in case the stamp doesn't come out. And I've already stamped this one, but if you look closely at this other side, you can see where I tried the stays on and it was dried out. So that one says hello, and this one will put thank you. There you go. So 
so now I have hello and I have thank you. Okay, now I'm going to just attach these to the green. Now what I'm going to do is take a little piece of, oh let me see if I have a piece of paper here. Yeah, I just have them. When I rub them, I'm not going to rub over those letters because they are liable to run until I've given it a chance to dry. They dry pretty quick. So what I will do is just put a piece of paper over it. Let me give you some dimensions. <clears throat> the green is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. The white is two and a half by three and a half. These are stripes were two and a half by the height of the card which is five and a half. Two and a half by five and a half. So now we're going to put these on the card. Okay, but we want to have some ribbon and I've got this whole basket full of ribbon and let's see if we can find something that might look nice there. It doesn't have to be matchy matchy. like this orange. I don't see a green that I like. This kind of light orange is kind of pretty. Let's do that. And uh, I have to go through this again but what you do with this is this is a whole bunch of ribbon I'm sorry this is a whole bunch of ribbon that I got off of eBay and they don't have good uh, spool holders to put them in um, my rack so what I do is I put them in here and then I just thread a piece of the ribbon out through the edge of the basket and then I can just pull it when I want to and it keeps it from falling all over the place. So let's just see what we have here. We're going to put, here's what I'll do. I'll put one strip of tape along the back in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to split this in the middle and put it right on that tape. Now I'm going to put it on the card because it gives me a little bit more to hold on to when I'm making the bow. Okay, here's the open edge. And making bows on camera. <laughs> it's never been my strong suit. I can make them and they'll look very nice, but when I try to do it on camera, the world goes wrong. Now these are only little bows, so we don't need to keep them too big. Now what I will do when I finish is I will get a glue dot and glue that so that it stays that way. 
Let me just get some pencils here. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? That's a cute card. Let's put the other one on. One of the problems I'm having right now is that my nails are so bad that they've got little places that catch and it doesn't want to, and it catches on the ribbon. Well, that almost went through. <laughs> oh, well. You know, I make really good bows on the wreaths, don't I? Don't try to tie one of these little ones. I mean, actually, should be making a square bow. Let's see, let's make these blue, blue flowers on this one, maybe. And I didn't put the yellow in the middle of the other ones. It's about as bright a yellow as I have, I think. And now you can see that. I'll put some yellow over here. Look at the green leaves. And there you go. I'll put them aside a little bit. Aren't they cute? Hello and thank you. Alrighty. 
We'll put those aside. That was very easy, wasn't it? It wasn't difficult at all. And we're going to take this piece. And here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to, this is the 12-inch side, and we're going to score it right in half at 6 inches. Use the little one. And then on this long side, I'm going to score it at 2 inches. Now the 6 inches, this is a 12 by 12, so we'll just take it right in half, okay, and then the 2 inch, we'll fold it up like this, and there is your little folder that your cards will go in. Now you can take, um, oh, some of the pieces of this paper, patterned paper maybe and put it inside. It doesn't have to necessarily match the uh, cards, but you can put those in. Let's see if we can find one that would look nice with that. How about, oh, I know, a plain, didn't I have a plain pink out here? Yeah, I did. So let's put that in. Perfect. Perfect. Now what I did with the other one is I used my crocodile. Now if you don't have a crocodile, you can certainly use a stapler. And what you would do is just take your piece of ribbon, your long piece of ribbon, and you would wrap it around this, okay, D down, you'd need to go down this to the bottom of it, kind of, okay, because what you want to do is you want to staple these two ends together. I'm going to use a crocodile, and hopefully I remember how to use it, here we are, and I'm going to go through these two. Except I went in the wrong slot. There you go. Mm -hmm. And I think I might want to go over that again with the bigger hole. piece of paper stuck in here so I can't see the hole there we go there we go I'm going to make the hole using the bigger one And then I'm going to put a grommet in it. And 
and this grommet will hold it closed. Do this one again. All right, so now I will take my ribbon and go through this grommet. around the back, through the other side, now I have my place for my cards Close it up, tie a pretty bow or a bow, too big, So there you go. And then what you can do is just decorate the front of this with some flowers or you see I did with this one. I made another one of those same blocks that I could put on the card and then I put some flowers on it. We won't take the time to do that today, but you get the idea. So here you go. Look at that. Cute little cards to send to somebody make them feel um, happy and or give them the whole thing as a gift give it a try all right <laughs> that's our video for today paper crafts 101 <laughs> I have to tell you it's fun to do paper crafts but I have been concentrating so much on wreaths that I have to stop and think of how I do this when I do some of these things again now but I think this came out just great these are the cutest little cards and you can write your own message on them and you don't have to make the folder if you don't want to you can just make the four cards and put them in a little plastic envelope and the, the uh, envelopes you can get at um, Walmart they are you, invitation size envelopes and so I think you'll be able to do those just fine. So that's our project for today. Here's the finished one. And I hope we all give it a try. I'll be back in just a couple of minutes with a few parting words. So how was that, guys? I'm sorry if it was a little disjointed. Like I said uh, in the beginning, this has been a long time since I've done paper crafts. And it takes a little thinking on my part to get back into the um, the, the speed and directions. Um, I will show you the, the sizes of the papers down below in the, in the uh, discussion box and I just wanted to show you if you don't even have to go to Walmart if you have an envelope punch board because you can make your own envelopes 
uh, all of the sizes that you need to have and what size paper are listed right here. This is an excellent tool. And I think maybe the next time I get together with you on paper crafts, we'll make an envelope to go along with some cards. Make a card and make a, an envelope to go along with it, if, if, if a card is what we do. Uh, but in the meantime, I just wanted to say thanks for stopping by. Please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I will be back again now. It'll actually be tomorrow because I didn't get this video up until Saturday. And so I will be back tomorrow with our last of the side dishes from the kitchen. And I think you'll like this one. It's not something that's terribly unusual, but it's something that's tasty. And so I will be back tomorrow with a, shall I give you a hint, a summer squash casserole. Yum. So anyway, until tomorrow, everybody stay safe, play by the rules, and play nice now. Bye-bye.